in this video we are continuing from where we stopped right in this video we are continuing from where we stopped this you are watching is part six of the videos the expo questions past questions and answer and preparatory questions we've been giving you for biology as a science student i know i don't need to remind you how very important your biology is and biology is one of the subjects that can give you maximum marks in your jump exam right what you are watching now is not nollywood it's not comedy skit so i need you to pay attention this is not z word this is not one of those movies you watch to just while away time i need you to don't watch this particular video you are watching that as a comedy or as a movie or as one of these nollywood movies give it your serious attention get a jotter close to you pay attention i mean just give it your attention jam is a very crucial exam and i've been working towards ensuring that you get admission this year so let's move on which of the following tissues are made up of dead cells which of the following tissues are made up of dead cells a eh? this was where we stopped in 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 video part five in this part six we are continuing which of the following tissues are made up of dead cells a palisade b xylem vessels c meristematic d cambium the answer is c xylem cells xylem cells contain dead dead cells right meristematic cell and cambium are regions of active cell division so the answer is xylem cells waters workers in deep mines usually suffer from the from dehydration because workers in deep mines usually suffer from dehydration because a water is lost due to evaporation b water is lost due to defecation c water is lost in the form of sweat d water is lost along with salt in the form of sweat that is the answer because those that work deep inside the ground right like the miners the coal miners people that work deep 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 they lose a lot of water and they become dehydrated because water is lost along with salt in form of sweat okay are you still with me are you still following remember that if you watch this very video you are watching this very part six if you watch it from now until the end i'm going to give you free jam syllables and free jam pass questions free to you which of the following is not an organ which of the following is not an organ a leaf b heart c kidney d bone which of the following is not an organ a leaf b heart c kidney d bone the answer is d bone is not an organ now, now i have an assignment number one for you go and tell me the difference between an organ and a tissue tell me the difference between an organ and a tissue then also tell me the largest organ in the human body the largest organ in the human body tell me indicate it these assignments i'm giving you in all the videos are very important i already know why i'm giving you that particular assignment there's something i know there's something I've seen about this year's biology jam exam that you don't know. That's why I'm picking that particular assignment. Go and give me the answer to this assignment. Write it down and tell me the answer once you are done with this video. A condition known as cretinism is caused by the deficiency of dash. A condition known as cretinism is caused by the deficiency of dash A, vitamin A, B, insulin C, triazine tyrosine d vitamin c if i were you i will go and read up cretinism the answer is c cretinism is caused by lack of tyrosine tri tyrosine under secretion of under look at the explanation under secretion of tyrosine in infant result in a condition condition of stunted growth related brain function known as cretis, cretinism 
stunted growth and retarded brain function is known as cretinism. Under secretion of tyrosine in adults results in condition of mental and physical sluggishness as well as reduced metabolism rate, obesity, known as myzoedema. 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 The type of blood circulation in an organism with hemocol is dash. The type of blood circulation in an organism that reminds me i want you to tell me um, there are four major parts of the human heart you have the right this the left this the right this the left this tell me that thing also tell me the name of the vein or blood vessel that carries blood outside the heart you know we have veins, arteries, and capillaries. Which of them carries blood outside the heart and which of them brings blood or returns blood to the heart? Note these assignments and tell me the answer. The type of blood circulation in an organism with hemocol is dash A, double circulation B, dose circulation C, single circulation D, open circulation. The answer is D. In a closed circulation system, blood is in direct contact with body cells within a cavity called hemocol. Example include, remember the answer is open circulation. Open circulation, okay? The, the uh, example include animals like spiders, crustaceans, and other anthropods. In a close, in a closed circulatory system, blood is in direct contact with body cells within a cavity called chemosol. Example, so the answer actually should be closed, 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 B. There's a, there's a mistake in the typing. Okay. Question 20, 20. Lateral board growth is inhibited by dash. Lateral board growth is inhibited by dash. A. Oxin, B. Gibberellin, C. Cytokinin, D. Ethylene, the answer is ethylene. Ethylene retard retailer board growth development. However, auxins prevent lateral board from growing by inducing the formation of ethylene around them. Now, let's look at if you have been benefiting from the videos I've been doing, please let me know. Tell me how these videos have been helping you. It will motivate me to, you know, keep creating videos. And if there's any video I have not created that you want me to create, let me know. Just point out, maybe there's a subject you want me to cover. There's a, a video you want me to make that I've not made. Just indicate I could make that video or my staff could also make it. Study the list below and use it to answer question 22 and 21. The vertebral column of mammals consists of the following. A. I. Lumbar vertebrae. I. I. Thoracic vertebrae. I. 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 Colda vertebrae. I. V. Cervical vertebrae V. Sacra vertebrae. Which of the lists above are found immediately next to the score? A. I. B. I. I. C. I. 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 D. I. V. The answer is D. I. V. And which one is I. V? I. V is cervical vertebrae. That is why you find uh, after the score. Okay. Which of, which, which of the lists articulates with the pelvic ghetto. Which of the least? That is pelvic ghetto is downwards. Which of the least articulates with pelvic ghetto? A, V, B, I, V, C, I, 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 D, I, I. The answer is V. And what is V? V is what? Sacra vertebrae. This thing has to do with the spinal cord. Okay? I hope you are following. The young shoot of a plant is referred to as dash. The young shoot of a plant is referred to as dash. A. Radical. B. Plumole. C. Branch. D. Board. The young shoot of a plant is called a board. Embryonic shoot is promole. Why the, why the embryonic root? is radical
the Pri Pri Renault in Spyro Gyra dash. The Pri Pri Renault in Spyro Gyra. Spyro Gyra is one of those, uh, I think, unicellular organism. Okay. The Spyro the Spironoid in Spyro Gyra dash usually contains starch B. It's suspended by cytoplasmic stand. C. It's mainly used for respiration. D. Secretes waste product. The answer is A. Pyronoid contains starch. This can be confirmed through iodine test. Remember that uh, we have done several other videos on use of English. We have done several videos on biology. We have done multiple videos on the jam novel. We have done a lot on Lucky Headmaster, on chemistry, on physics. We have done several videos, parts upon parts, explanation upon explanation, assignment upon assignment, clarification upon clarification, past questions, expo questions. If there is any of those, if you want me to give you access to all the videos we have done in any of those subjects, just indicate in the comment, just type, give me the link to maybe biology, give me the link to all the videos you have done on use of English, just tell me, I could give them to you. How are savannah plants protected from bushfires? How are, these ones are adaptive measures by plants and also animals. How are, so in your biology textbook, probably modern biology, go and read up adaptation, adaptation, adaptation. Okay, let's move on. How are savannah plants protected from bushfires? They are dash A, have the have sunken stomata B, roll the leaves during hot days C, have thick backs, they always produce lowers. The answer is C, they have the very thick back, the back, you know what I mean by back now, they have very thick back so that even if there is fire, the back will prevent that fire from killing the organisms inside the stem right i hope you understand i say savannah plants withstand consistent bush burning by having thick bags and long resistant tap roots they often have very deep tap roots to give it a lot of water even when everywhere is burning which of the following is characteristic of animal cell wall animals remember this one is not plant cell -o. which of the following is characteristic of animal cell a possession of cellulose cell wall b absence of large vacuum c presence of chloroplast d pre presence of chloroplast d presence of chromosomes one of the follow one of the following is a characteristic of animal cell the answer is Absence of absence of large vacuoles or none at all is a characteristic of animal cell. Okay. A plant that lives on the surface of other plants without drawing nutri nut nourishment or water from them is called dash. A plant that lives on the surface of other plants without drawing nourishment or water from them is called a a parasite b a saprophyte c an epiphyte d a homophrodite the answer is c example of an epi epiphyte is fern it will live on another organism it will live on another plant but it will not be taking water from that plant it will not be it will not be taking nutrients, right? It is not para, it is not parasitism, no, because it's not it's not taken from its host. Do you get are you following? Remember that at the end of this video you will qualify for free jam syllables and free jam pass question. I know you must have been looking for it, haven't you? You must have been looking for this particular pass question and syllable. So I'm going to give you it as a gift at the end of this video. Oysters and sea cucumbers respectively belong to dash. Oysters and sea cucumbers respectively belong to dash. A. Anthropoda and Archinodem. B. Archinodem and Crustaceans. C. Coelentreta and Archinodems. D. Mollusca and Archinodems. 
The answer is D. Mollusca and Achenodems. Oysters are grouped under mollusca because they are shared animals. Why see cucumbers under Achenodems? Because they have tough, spiny, carcerous skeleton. And also because they are star shaped. They are what? Star shaped. Which of the following structures differentiate an animal cell from a plant cell? Which of the following structure differentiate an animal cell from a plant cell? A. Ribosomes. B. Cell membrane. C. Chloroplast. D. Mitochondria. This one is already simple. I have answered this question over and over again. The answer is chloroplast. An animal cell doesn't have a chloroplast. Why? Because an animal cell doesn't photosynthesize. You know the pigment required for photosynthesis is chlorophyll. And that chlorophyll is contained in a chloroplast of course you know it's only a uh, plants that that photosynthesize we animals we do not photosynthesize a frog is able to carry out cutaneous respiration because a the skin is rough and tough b the body is slim c the skin is moist thin and vascularized d it has no gaze the answer is c the answer is what c the skin is moist Thin and vascularized. We have looked at this question in one of the parts. A pair of genes expressed in a heterozygous individual is described as dash. A pair of genes expressed in a hetero. Of course, you should go and find out the meaning of heterozygous individual. Is described as dash. A alleles. B chromatide. C centromere. D dominant gene the answer is allele 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 an allele is a pair of gene gene carrying contrasting characteristic no a, a, an allele is a pair of gene carrying con, carrying contrasting character in an individual it carries contrasting character in an individual in the next video we are going to continue from where we stopped now to receive free jam syllables and free jam pass question, do one, four things. Number one is compose. Number one, join our YouTube channel. You can see the option in our channel to join. Click on join and join our YouTube channel. That is compose mandatory. Number two, like this video. Just click on like. Number three, number three, share this video. Just click on share. Share this video on here on YouTube. Then click on share. Copy the link. Go over to whatsapp share the link to on whatsapp groups for jam candidates share it on 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 facebook groups on uh, telegram groups all those platforms you belong to share it also with your classmates your colleagues your friends that are writing jam then subscribe to our youtube channel noble tutorials just click on subscribe turn on the notification bell subscribe when you subscribe come under this video and type i have subscribe when you subscribe do what come under this particular video and type i have subscribed once i see you type i'll subscribe i'll chat you up remember to submit the assignments i gave you there's a video on the screen click on it and watch